Hello, Paradise Panther artists. This is Mrs. Telfer, and I am excited to be back with you today learning about our next master artist, Frederick Remington. He is an American painter and sculptor who was born in 1861. He created some of the most realistic portrayals of life in the Old West, including cowboys, American Indians, and soldiers. So giddy up artists, we're heading to the wild, wild west. Do you know what a time machine is? Have you ever been for a ride in one? Would you like to take a trip today in a time machine? Well, let's get ready for takeoff. Fasten your seat belts and strap on your helmets. I'm going to push this button so our time machine knows to go backwards in time. How far back in time should we travel? That will be your surprise. And where will we land? That's your other surprise. Are you ready? Help me count down in a quiet voice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, blast off. We're going back, back, back in time. Oh, I see so many interesting things. We're passing the year your parents were born. And we just passed the year your grandparents were born. Now we're entering the 1800s. I think I will stop us here. Okay, hold on while I push the stop button. Whew. We're here. It's the year 1880. We traveled back in time over 100 years. Do you know where we are? It looks like we've landed in the Old West. I see cowboys on horses. Here we go. I see something here that you may not have noticed. I see a man walking around who doesn't look like everyone else. He isn't dressed like the cowboys, but he isn't dressed like an American Indian either. Instead of carrying a gun or a saddle, he has a sketchbook and a pencil in his hands. He is very busy drawing everything in sight. Who do you suppose he is and what is he doing? You're right, he's an artist. This man's name is Frederick Remington, and he drew and painted pictures of the Old West. Do you think that would have been an exciting time? Yes, me too. All his life, Frederick Remington was interested in the West, even though he lived in New York, in the East. He finally was able to go West when he was a teenager. And from that time, it was the center of his life. If he wasn't living there, he was painting it. Would you like to see his pictures of the Old West? His art will show us what life was really like during that time. What kind of Western characters do you see in this painting? That's right, we see army men. Can you tell what they are doing? Well, it is morning and the men are making their breakfast. I want you to think of what you had for breakfast this morning before I tell you what these men ate. For breakfast every day while they were away from their fort, they had thick black coffee, greasy bacon, and perhaps a rock hard biscuit or two. And that is what they ate for the whole day with no lunch. Was your breakfast better than that? I'm sure it was. And I bet you're hungry again by lunchtime. To know what life was like for these men, Remington went on horseback and camped out with them. Picture Remington sitting around the campfire with these men and his sketchbook in hand. 
he saw everything about their daily life. Look carefully at this picture and see if you find the same things I do. Do you see bullets on the man's belt? Do you see a man smoking a pipe? Do you see a canteen to hold water? Do you see smoke rising from the campfires? That's very good looking, well done. All of those details that Remington was so careful to put in his pictures make the pictures look real, don't they? The pictures look real like we're sitting around the campfire with Remington because Remington was a realistic painter. Is it natural for a horse to want a saddle and rider on his back? No, you're right. Here, Remington is showing us a horse's first lesson in having a saddle and a rider on his back. Does he look like he is enjoying his lesson? No. Is the cowboy being very careful? Yes. Breaking a horse in without getting kicked was very tricky. Does the horse just stand there once the cowboy gets on his back? No, the horse bucks, leaps, and runs. Again, this is a realistic painting from Remington. Remington loved horses and knew a lot about them. When he was a little boy, his father trained horses. Frederick learned to ride when he was about your age and always enjoyed horses. He also liked to draw pictures, and his favorite things to draw were horses, soldiers, and American Indians. Look for American Indians in the next slide. In this painting, the American Indians and the cowboys are fighting. Who is in the most danger? Yes, it's the cowboys who are outnumbered. Isn't this an exciting moment that Remington painted? How does it make you feel? He was a master at showing excitement and danger and inviting us in to feel the action. Let's look at all the realistic details he shows us. Are all the cowboys dressed the same? No. Remington painted the details of their clothing. Are all of the horses different? Yes. You can see pans, ropes, and blankets packed in the saddles. Now let's look at the American Indians. Can we see as many little details like we could on the cowboys? No because they are further away. We can't see the detail. That is the way Remington shows us the American Indians are in the background and the cowboys are in the foreground. Let's take a closer look. Would you like to be on a horse right now going as fast as these cowboys? Don't the horses look like they're going to jump from the painting into the room? Remington was a master at painting horses. He spent years riding them and watching them carefully with his artist's eyes. So he really understood how they moved. Do you think Remington was standing there drawing this dangerous fast chase? No, he never really saw a fight in person. But he would sit around the campfires with the cowboys late at night and listen to their exciting and dangerous adventures. In his mind, he would change the words into pictures and then into sketches. Remington would later go back to his home in New York, a long way away, and paint the scene. To help him, he would bring home all kinds of Western things 
and surround himself with these objects. A friend described his studio where he painted. He said, props hang on walls and litter the floor. Axes, clubs, saddles, bows and arrows, moccasins, headdresses, even a small canoe. Can you see how Remington used all those props when he painted his pictures? Definitely. Remington continued to live and paint in New York, but he traveled out west every year for several months. He roamed the cowboys' trails, camped with the soldiers, and made friends with some of the American Indians. Some of the American Indians he met lived in triangle-shaped homes made of animal skins. Do you know what they are called? They're called teepees. These tent-like homes were held up using log poles. Let's look at one of his paintings showing some American Indians on horseback doing something unusual. Take a look at the photo of the buffalo. They are also called bison. The American Indians were experts at hunting the buffalo, which provided food for their families. No part of the buffalo was wasted. They used the fur for warmth, the hide or skins for the teepees, and the bones for tools. Do they look like powerful, dangerous animals? Yes, they are. These American Indians are hunting buffalo in the painting. But why do you think they are sitting like that on their horses? These men are quietly pretending to be buffalo by leaning over their horses and they have even covered themselves in buffalo fur blankets. They know that if the buffalo see a human, they might run away, and those animals can run fast, even though they are so big. Now, I want you to look behind the people and the action at the landscape that Remington painted. Here too, he painted realistic details of what the Western landscape really looked like. Can you see the desert with only a few trees? It is dry and dusty with low flat mountains. Remington was also very talented in another type of artwork. What will it be? Let's find out. Does this look like a painting? No, you're right. It's a sculpture by Remington, but it has as many details as his paintings. He is as famous for his sculptures as he is for his paintings. There's so much excitement that it's fun to first let your eyes wander over the sculpture wherever they want to go. Now, let's study it more closely. Notice how each horse's head is held in a different position. Do they look like they are galloping very hard? Yes, they are. Notice how the artist shows the powerful action of the horse's legs. Above the horses, we see that the positions of the cowboy's heads are just like the horse's heads. If the horse's head is up, the cowboy's head is up. Look at each one to compare. Does this make you feel how much the horse and the cowboy work together as one? Yes, it does. You've seen some of Remington's artwork. Now, let's meet our famous artist again. Go ahead and take a look at how Remington is dressed in his self-portrait. He's dressed up like a cowboy, complete with the horse, hat, and boots. But this was not his regular clothing. Even when he traveled out west, he usually wore a huge red coat, tight riding breeches, and hunting boots like the English would wear. 
Everyone liked him with his big smile and his love of the West. Aren't you glad he showed us what the Old West was really like? Before we head back in our time machine, let's be sure we know what these Remington vocabulary words mean. The landscape is the scenery of the painting, such as mountains, valleys, trees, rivers, forests. The foreground is what is closest to the viewer of the painting, and the background is what is farthest away from the viewer of the painting. I think it's time we start our return trip back to Morgan Hill and the year 2020. I hope you enjoyed your visit in the Old West with Frederick Remington. Now, let's fasten our seatbelts and put on our helmets. Get ready for takeoff and softly count with me. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, blast off. My dial shows the year 1920 and now we're passing 1950. We're up to 1980. I'd better stop us quickly or we'll travel right past the year 2020. Thanks for being such a good traveler in our time machine today. I hope you enjoyed your trip to Remington's Old Wild Wild West. You were an excellent time machine traveler. Thanks for doing a great job, Paradise Panther artists. I will see you next time.